ungrateful kids to respect your parents. Turn to your parents and say, I love you now. Thank you for spending $3,000 so I can get free ice cream. Say, thank you, mom and dad. $3,000, free pizza and ice cream. It was only $3,000. And I want to thank all the kids in the audience tonight for keeping the kiddie pool warm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I was back there. Three feet of urine. Thank you very much, everybody. Is everybody having a good time? Yeah. First kid cruise of the two. Oh, lots of kids, right? I'm fine. Very nice, very nice. Very lovely young lady. How old are you, young lady? Oh, wait a minute. You're not supposed to ask a woman how old she is. How much do you weigh? <laughs> and are you married? No, you're way too happy. Don't joke number one. <laughs> and who's this creepy old guy sitting next to you? I gotta keep an eye on the way. Gotta keep an eye. Oh, is he related? Alright, then he can sit down. Alright, how are you, sir? Very nice to have you here. Alright, keep an eye on the youngins. Are you grandpa? Yes. Very nice. And what's your name? Richie. Richie. Oh, Richie from New York. <laughs> Who'd have thought in a million years? Right out of here. Richie, everybody, sitting up front. I'm surprised you didn't answer me. Because you can't ask people from New York who they are, what they do for a living. That's what they do. What do you do? They do things. <laughs> right? Who are you sitting with? The people. That's all you got to know. Mind your own business. Let me handle this. There's a reason why they don't pass these out at the door. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody would have a show. <laughs> Who was that that said straight up? Who was that? Uh, oh, the sister over there. Ah, yeah. All right, we're not in the movie theater now. All right. <laughs> what, New York City? <laughs> See, I love a black audience. The best. Black crowd are the best. White people, you're okay. What? <laughs> Black crowds take it to another level. If I do a really good job with a white audience, the best I can hope for is a standing ovation. Not bad, but a little sedate. You know, they'll stand in one place like that. was trying to touch that. Love it. Really good. Really, really. Look at the way you work a little child up front and the creepy old man sitting next to you. Know, if you get a black crowd laugh, if you watch, she will get up and run around the room. And run around the room. Oh my God! Oh, oh Jesus! I gotta lay down. Oh my God! Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I need some CPR or a BLT. Let's hope it doesn't. This is great. You guys are good for a uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I got you before the drink package kicked in. I guess. <laughs> I've seen some of you guys with the drink package. Just remember, okay, it's a package, it's not a challenge. <laughs> I've seen people 9 to 10 o'clock at night going, I'm up to 11! <laughs> They're not gonna stop me now! <laughs> at least this is fun stuff to do, yeah? We're having a good time? Because yeah. there's nothing to do in the cabin. Oh my <laughs> lord! Thank you, did they not pay the cable bill on this ship? <laughs> Holy mackerel! There's three channels. One of them is the front of the boat. Oh my, who is watching that? Who right? I know you're frustrated, aren't you? I bet it's grandpa. Grandpa has your mind, alright? Oh look at this, the front of the boat's on. Come on in, kids. Grandpa's watching the front of the boat again. You know that camera that shows the front of the boat? I know it. Let me handle it. Is that you again getting very excited? No, it's Peaches the Night. Oh, it's Peaches, everybody. She's back again. Peaches the Night. How you doing, baby? All right. I've got All my friends on right. the night. Oh, your friends. And how old are you, young man? Nine. Nine? Oh. Jeez, you're a big guy. Stop kidding me. <laughs> what, hey, what's your name, young man? Uh, Good. We'll get back to you, young man. Shut up and attack that kid, huh? <laughs> Okay, another New Yorker. I told you, I'm not going to tell you what my name is. 
Pepsi. No, we from Philly. Peaches, all right. <laughs> Where'd you learn to whisper? In a helicopter? <laughs> See, New York is the only place in the whole world, and Philly, you can have a conversation between two people and nothing they say. You know what I'm talking about. Like, hey, Frankie, remember that guy I spoke to the other day about that thing that we were talking about? <laughs> And he said that he knew what's his name from the joint over there. Well, I spoke to you know who. It turns out he don't know nothing. <laughs> and then they wonder why it takes the feds ten years to catch these guys doing something. Right? So your name again, young fella? Avery. Avery. Oh, very nice, lovely name. And when are you gonna, you know, once you hit double digits, it's all downhill, Avery. You know that. So you're nine. When will you be ten? You're answering questions no one asked you. Maybe you're always right about the kid not being too strong, huh? <laughs> How old are you, Avery? I have a sister. <laughs> Is it your first truth? I love Christmas. <laughs> Is Peaches your grandma? These are new shoes. I'll throw your sister under the bus, eh? <laughs> When are you going to be 10? Uh, Good. All right. Well, all right. He's getting it. We see you the month this time. <laughs> you know the month? Well, you're nine, so I got some kid jokes if you want to hear them. You want to hear a couple of kid jokes? Yeah, sure. It's so funny. Oh! Okay, no, at least I know my birthday. Now, here, don't yawn. My lord, you're a big guy. How tall are you? I don't know. All right, okay. Ten word. Right, I'll tell you a couple jokes and then you tell me. We'll see who's the better, right? All right, but remember, these are kids in the audience, okay? So they got to be kid friendly, okay? She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you didn't know your sister's name. <laughs> well, I asked your sister's name. What was it you didn't know? Yeah. Who's looking at you like you're crazy, by the way? That lady. That lady? She's 11. <laughs> she doesn't look like Go ahead, go say something nice. <laughs> I'm all kidding. <laughs> Who's moving right in? Oh my God. Look at Grandpa with the cane. Bring it on, kid. Grandpa's not playing. I'll drag you back to the room and make you watch the front of the boat. All right, so I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me one, all right? What do you call a dog with no legs? Doesn't matter what you call me, you're coming anyway. They're kid jokes. What do you want? Thank you very much, man. Thank you. I'm keeping it clean for the kids, right? And if you did have a dog in the legs, I would name him Stay. <laughs> did you get that joke? Oh, you got a good one? Go ahead. Avery, everybody. Go ahead. What do you call Abraham Lincoln when he eats too much Thanksgiving? What do you, what do you call Abraham Lincoln when he eats too much ham for Thanksgiving? He's too fat, so people call him Abraham Lincoln. Oh. Oh, well, I don't know what to do yet. I got him, sir. All right, Grandma. Go ahead, baby. All on. <laughs> Grab that microphone. It's all you, baby. All right, I'm going to tell you the joke in your ear. You tell the crowd, right? All right, here we go. It's kind of like a food joke. Here you go. Hold it right. Now, if you know the answer to this one, don't scream it out. Let him have his moment, all right? You might make big jokes. He's definitely. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> what do you call a cow with three legs? Lean beef. <laughs> what do you call a cow with two legs? Your ex wife. Hey, 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 what kind of stuff are you doing to me? I did not. You heard it, right, Grandpa? Give me that pain. Get the 
move off the stage. Um, Good one. We're going to work together. Take me in the wrong place. You got to do what I'm saying for the record, right? Thank you very much. And then he adds to it with some superfluous nautical nonsense that I can't figure out. And then he overdrives the speaker, which makes it even more difficult. And Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Captain. I'm talking to you from the navigation of age. Captain Alfredo Pettacini. I just wanted to bring you up for today on the ship to position and give you some very valuable information about the beautiful day at sea. <laughs> we are currently at travel at 070 degrees and 18 knots to 42 minutes north, 2 seconds or 3 to the south, 1 to the east. You go to the left foot in, you go to the right foot out. Do the hooky to poke the dick, we should call the mouth. Woo hoo! The left, the left, this guy will make those announcements in the middle of the night. I hope you think he's having fun with you. He'll wake you up in your cabin with those, you know those announcements, right? Woo hoo! And ladies and gentlemen, since you got the car, I'll talk to you again from the navigation of the bridge. It's a 4 a.m. And I just wanted to tell you about a very bad dream I just had. I was a little boy uh, riding my bicycle to my mom's house in the evening. Oh my goodness. What's up with that bathroom? It's a little overdramatic, is it not? Oh my goodness. God, does everyone on my deck have to know I'm doing number two? I just want to flush a little waste. I don't need to launch a torpedo. Where are you sending this stuff? Is it going back up to the smokestack? At home, gravity handles everything. What's 
all the pressure and the noise. I had a panic attack over using the toilet. Am I the only one? I checked the hallway first to see if anyone was out there. And then I put my foot on the eject button. You know you can't wait. It has to go out right away. Eventually you gotta just bite the bullet and it's like... <laughs> The shoe. <laughs> Put the shoe off my foot. I thought I was going to get a chop and come back on the microphone after the boop boop. Whoever just the flush of the toilet on the deck five, you just launched it a brown torpedo. You <laughs> should travel to zero, seven, zero degrees at the 18 knots. <laughs> 42 minutes north, two to the south, one to the east. You struck and sunk a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. <laughs> so now you're gonna get a free cruise. <laughs> That's okay. When I'm doing that joke on, on Royal, I say carnival, so. What's that? I always change your name. Ask Rowan Jojo, your front over here. You gotta change your name. You walk this guy up all the time. You gotta change the name. I rest my case, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, what part of Brooklyn are you from? Actually not. Oh, sounds like a Capitano. See me up front of the channel. I'm coming to talk to you about the launch of the Brown Torpedo. It's Italian accent. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Buonasera, signorina, buonasera. It is time to let me sing. Shut up. This is not about you. I already had one hand on the stage. They were hand naked. See how I brought that? That's comedy, Abel. You see how that works? When you get to that level, you can do this. And what is, what is your name? Uh, Julia! People love the seven dog, huh? And Giuliano, you're not from America, no? Oh, you see, see or no? Che cazzo va? Capisci Fifty fifty. Italian American. Italian American. Okay, so you're a hundred percent Italian and you live in America. That's another fifty fifty. Look, you did not do math in your country, huh? Boys and girls, Juliana, this is what happens when you leave school early, huh? Eh? You make a big mistake on your taxes, it's a big thing. Juliana, help over here. So I need to ask a real Italian, what's your opinion of the food on the dishwasher? Eh? Yeah, that's the real Italian. Eh? Yeah, that's the real Italian. Yeah, that's the real Italian. Yeah, that's the real Italian. Yeah, okay. Can you know we're running in a pattern now? Someone awakens from a coma every two to three minutes, answers a question no one asks them, and then they back off into the coma. <laughs> right? Do you have a sister? I right, love Christmas. How's the food? January. Because if I'm going to ask somebody about the food, it's going to be in, in Italian, see? Yeah or no? You don't see all the Italian captains. I don't see the Italian chefs. You don't see, that's right. You see Italian, wow, Giuliano. He's right, I don't see Italian chefs. Maybe that's why we have a problem with the buffet. See, what's that? No, 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 but they don't do buffets in Italy. They do olive oil. All my friends, see, I am of Irish descent. I don't know if descent is coming in your direction. <laughs> but the Irish, we're not known for our cooking. We're right, we're, we're just not. You know, apparently Ireland was not on any known spice trade route. Right, so Sunday, Sunday at my house was no big surprise. It was like, oh, come on in, you're just in Tommy. Your Uncle Tommy boiled a pot of steam. <laughs> Nobody boils a pot of steam like your Uncle Tommy. This week he added a little salt. Then I had friends. What's that? 
Yeah! Someone get into mom's journey. What did you say, young lady? The buffet is terrible. The buffet is from the mouths of babies. And how old are you, young lady? Eight. And what is the next cruise you will never be on? <laughs> what's, what's that? It's up to mom? Mom's <laughs> looking at I should have gave you the thing, but... Kids don't know what Benadryl is, huh? That's mom's little helper, am I right? Avery does? Yeah, we saw that earlier. January! Abraham Lincoln, January! What's that? Avery, don't tell me what to do. Right? I don't come to Peach's job and yell into the kickoff speaker. Oh, that was out of line? Come on, you're either with me or against me now. Juliana, all right, baby. It's okay. And who are you with yet tonight, the Juliana? Your lovely wife. Your lovely wife, very nice. She always makes fun of your accent? Yeah, unless you need to go collect money. <laughs> you go get the money. You all of us are people patent. How long have you married? 23 years. Very nice. I noticed most men do. Juliano didn't answer. He looked at the missus. Did you see that? Right? Most men don't know. They go, how long have you married? Uh, What's that? Ladies first. No, no, don't act like you're polite. You just didn't know. My my parents and my grandparents all married for a long time. My grandparents were married 63 years. Okay, see, they were from the old country, you know, they did things a little differently back then. You are supposed to stay together for the rest of your life according to your religion. Unless you were born to burn in the fires of hell forever. But still, pretty amazing at this 63rd wedding anniversary, I got a hold of my grandfather. I said, Pop, you've been married 63 years. What's the secret? He said, I won't even home three weeks. <laughs> so then I got a hold of my grandmother because I want to get a woman's perspective. I said, hey, Grandma, give me a tip, some heads up, some insight. She said, well, I can tell you one thing that helps for certain. Make sure that your husband's first name is the same as your boyfriend's. <laughs> Oh, my grandma has a different angle on this one. <laughs> very nice. Do you have children? Two, very nice. And where are the kitties? Not here. Not here. There's mom for you. They're not here. That's all we need to know about. I don't want to cruise Well, Giuliano, when you got when you guys get married, right? You traditional uh, a traditional wedding? Yes. Yeah, because my, my my parents were married Catholic and you're the Irish Catholics in the audience. Mm -hmm. And the night they got married. The priest made them take an extra bow and have them tell each other they would never go to bed angry at each other. Is that a good one? All right. They didn't sleep for 20 years. <laughs> What's that? Your priest was talking about prosciutto? Of course you were. <laughs> Giuliano, I don't know if you noticed, but you're in the front of the row and nobody in the back didn't hear what you're saying. <laughs> They got some fire. How do you survive that? <laughs> what he was saying was the priest was talking about prosciutto, right? During during your wedding. Sometimes there you go again, Juliana. <laughs> I'm just too angry. This is my birthday in January. <laughs> Cheers, though. Uh, salud, right? Don't say salud. Yes? Salud. That means you want to say that. It means for 100 years, correct? I mean, you live for 100 years. And that's that. Machaim, if you're Jewish. Yes, Did I say it right? I'm like, gotta ask my partner. Where's your partner? Not here. Not here. <laughs> Anybody, do you speak Hebrew? He does. He does? He does? Did I say it correctly? Machaim? Yeah. Because I dated Jewish girls in Brooklyn. You know <laughs> Jew That's not the joke. <laughs> it could happen. All right? You know what else? The Jewish women will date the boy, but not married. Because you know what they say, once you go boy, oh boy. But I dated a girl from Manhattan Beach, Brooklyn, and she spoke Hebrew as a second language fluently. And so as a courtesy to her and her family, I learned everybody's first name in Hebrew. And in Hebrew, her first name was... <laughs> 
and I knew she was Audrey. <laughs> she had a younger brother. <laughs> I knew that his name was Tim. <laughs> but my time, I said that correctly? Thank you very much. Right. And your name, sir? Emmanuel. Emmanuel, and what do you do? Software engineer. A what? A, oh, software. I think you said social engineer. <laughs> Hey, can you tell me what's going on in our culture today? <laughs> I'm a little clueless. Very nice. Nice to have you. Children also? I come from a large uh, New York Irish family with seven of us, three mothers, four fathers. <laughs> you guys are the best crowd we've had this show. So tonight we're going to do something special. Tonight we're going to make it souvenir night. What? Yep. You see something in here you like, you take it home. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Thank you very much.